So medicine has been around a long time and indigenous to their own area, they made medicine or they drank tea. And our people, this is what they did as well, they made tea. I'm uh, Dr. Jeannie Paul. I'm not practicing, I don't have a family practice now. I graduated from a naturopathic medical school at the age of 51. I was the first native for Canada to graduate in this profession. So I was very proud. And second for the United States. Especially at that age, right, 51, when I took off from another profession to become the doctor that I am today. So now at 72, I'm 72 years old now. I'm semi-retired only because I uh, have a mission to accomplish. And the mission for me is to spread the word about our traditional medicines. That is my utmost mission in life now. You can buy a book, it's called uh, Interactions with Herbs. You buy it at a health food store and you can look up the herb and how it interacts with the drug you're taking. It's about $21 now. When I bought it years ago, uh, they're about 15 now, they're about $21 or more. So it's good to see the interaction between something, if it's, if it's not gonna work with the drug you're taking or is, what is gonna happen if they drank it together with that medicine. The teas are, the teas are really excellent too, uh, which I drink daily, just as an uh, adjunctive to what I'm doing, or as a prophylactic, it's called in medicine, which means you want to prevent something severe for the future, right? Prophylaxis means you prevention, right? So I can drink my tea of Devil's Club for arthritis, even though I don't have arthritis, but it, it might be helping all the other things in my body that has to do with the uh, medicine of uh, Devil's Club. So you can do both is the answer. I do both. When I'm treating somebody, I, what I do what is called, I throw the book at you, everything. Let me ask you another question then, and then I'll answer your question, is uh, what do you think of supplements? No, not emotional thing, because you don't like them. What do you mean when you don't like something? So. Supplements, it's called nutraceuticals is the new word for them now. Nutraceuticals, nutrition-ceuticals. What do you think of them? Betsy? Louder, dear? Not as good as the real. The real medicines? Why? She said, not as good. Why? I can't hear you. I could. They have fillers, that's for sure. But Okay. But if you're getting this Jameson store bought vitamin, it's basically chemically compounded vitamin. And so your absorption and all that would be different. Okay. So do you hear these different answers, huh? Might be preservative, might it's whole foods, it's not whole foods, I don't like them. But think of it in terms of what you've just learned. I'm trying to think, I want, it, I want you to think now of what's happened here in terms of us learning how to make medicines. For 30 days, this medicine has cooked itself, it's cured itself, 
in this jar and I take a supplement A, D, Echinacea, Plantain, what happened here? Think about just that question. What has happened? What do you think? Let's leave out the additives. Just let's just talk about the, 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 the medicine itself. No, not interactions. I'm not saying this right. Anyway. Say again. What is? Okay. It's pure. So, so if you can, let me just put you through this and think about what I just, I'm just saying now as opposed to supplements. And this is what I think, what's happening here. So if I'm taking my, uh, if I take a tincture, which has taken 30 days for that medicine, that devil's club, that colt's foot, that anything we've made, has spilled its guts into the minstrum for 30 days to make medicine. You understand? The pure medicine comes out of there. And I take a supplement of echinacea, which is powdered flowers. They powder it, the stem, the roots are, do you hear me? And they powder it, and then they put it in a double odd capsule. Double odd is usually the size of these capsules. Then you swallow that, okay? So you take your dose of echinacea, you take your dose of any of the supplements that's on the shelf. What do you think has happened here? Okay, the medicine has not come out. Why? Why? It didn't sit. Exactly. Do you hear what she said? So if you have this medicine, if you have echinacea, which is just a powdered form, or the food, whatever you think it is, you swallow it and it goes into the tummy, it has to sit in there, has to be acted on by the chief cells, the digestive juices, to break down, to break down the medicine that you just swallowed. But it has to leave your tummy pretty quick and go out as poop. And so what the research has shown, which is interesting, I love do, hearing about research and I study this a lot. In research, what they found is that a lot of these nutraceuticals, no matter how pure they are, have been flushed down the toilet. On the other end, they have found piles of these supplements on the other end, undigested, unbroken, so what I call very expensive poop, very expensive urine. <laughs> and I just say this not flippantly, but because of having studied medicine the way I do now and how medicine acts upon the body. So when you swallow this, when I swallow this dose of Devil's Club of 30 drops, and succussion it and the power, that's going to get absorbed very quickly, almost like now. Although the next step is the first pass effect. Can you say that? First pass effect is when the food enters your stomach, this is the solid food you've eaten. When that passes, it has to go to the liver first. The liver is the first to see everything. It chews it up. It's got to figure out what to do with this. It's got to mix. Anyway, it's a, it's a long process. But as far as the medicines go, then does it, does it mean that it's not worked? My, uh, my cod liver oil that I've just swallowed, or my seal oil, or my vitamin D, 
or my plantain or echinacea, does it mean it's not worked? No, it means it has a certain percentage of this will work, right? A certain percent will be absorbed, but it's got to get kicked out quickly. All the juices act. The gallbladder has to do something to it. It's got to chew it up, send it through. The microbes act on it in the intestines, then poop it out within so many hours. So this is why in research that has been done that the it's passed through too fast and we've lost the effect. And also too, uh, that it's not made medicine for 30 days. That's pretty much basic. Do you hear what I'm saying? So this may be, maybe I'm all wet about this, but I've discussed it with other doctors about this as well. But it's an uh, interesting thing to note. Uh, do you have to believe this? No. Does it mean you stop taking your supplements? No. It just means that uh, how much effect am I using? But I found, as the question was originally, do I drink tea? Do both. Drink your tea. Am I keeping you too long here? Drink your tea and... Sorry? Yes. You'll get some of that, for sure. But you're not getting the full effect. You hear what I'm saying? She made a smoothie of stinging nettle. Good. Bully on you. It's good. And it's, you've gotten a lot of the other things that are readily accessible out of it. You know, if we did a distillation process, we might know what came out first or what is last and how fast it went through the process. But, um, but I, for me, I believe that the medicines act very quickly through the stomach with this form, and it gets like almost the light goes on, at least for me. When the medicines hit my mouth, it acts like, whoa, it's, something has happened. So anyway, traditionally then, our, our plants have been around a long time and we have used it in a really big way. It slowed down some because now many of our students are going to school, many of our people are got big jobs, like uh, our friend Kathy here. They can't always be running around harvesting, but certainly we have our children to think of. And of course, we continue to do that in our lives, in our village. And if we went around the room, and I'm not going to do it now, but I want you to reflect on yourself in your village, who it is, who it is in your village knows something about your plants, and sit at their feet. The elders who have a different way of looking at these things maybe, and we're looking at it from a point of view of being educated in a different way, but we all come to the same Maybe not the same, but many ways come together.